I prepared this video in order to advocate for the use of pinpoint style needles in performing retrobulbar blocks. The clip you are about to see demonstrates the difference between penetrating a globe with two different 25 gauge needles, one sharp and one with a rounded pinpoint style tip. The first is a 25 gauge Whitaker needle with a pinpoint style tip, the second a 25 gauge sharp double beveled disposable needle. The first needle, which is similar to a Sprotty needle as well, can be purchased for about $7. The second, the disposable 25 gauge needle, costs about 25 cents. As you can see here, my partner is having great difficulty in penetrating the globe with the Whitaker needle. Now try to just poke it and do it come forward a little bit further. Come forward on the eye? Yeah, so I can see it. Yeah, okay and try to keep the shadow away from the part where you're poking. Okay. Yeah, hold it with the thread. That's not going okay, in. well, go. you're going to have to press hard. Do you want me to go into it, actually? Yeah. Okay. Put your elbow on the thing to stabilize yourself, and then I want you to poke it. Get your shadow. You know, I, want, I don't want it to be in shadow when you poke through. And that's what your point is. Don't do it hard, just do it with steady pressure. It'll go. Okay, stop. Now come back, put the 25 gauge sharp on. Oh, holy moly. Ah. Okay, that's enough. So that's this right. Yeah. Or like this way. Okay, now I'm gonna zoom in on them, so hold them. Just yeah. let them lay there. Yeah. Okay. Your fingers in front. There you go. You got through. Did you? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And now pull out. Is there anything inside there? Vitreous. Will it come back totally clear? No. Oh, yeah, probably just, yeah. <laughs> 